you get any more clarity with some of your lineup spots for Midlands, or did it kind of become murkier? No, I mean, it kind of, I mean, I think we're, you know, our lineup is what it is. I think at this point, you know, we're going to go with Metzler. Yeah. You know, I think Midlands helped clear that up a little bit. I don't know if Nick's ready right now, so uh, we'll go with Metzler, and, uh, at least for this match. Um, but anything can happen. And then uh, Pete will probably get to go. And uh, really, that's it. I mean, I, I, again, 74, Willie wrestled a lot of matches. He's wrestled the most on our team right now. So uh, Grello's obviously still in the mix there, you know. So we could, we'll make a decision on that come the match time. But uh, pretty much that's Corinthian wrestle, of course. And uh, that's our lineup. So Joe's, Joe's healthy? Everything? Yeah, yeah, he's better. He's better. They're both kind of nicked up. Willie wrestled a lot, and Joe was nicked up at the tournament, wanted to wrestle in that tournament. Uh, asked to wrestle in that tournament and just didn't feel comfortable continuing on. So that's the reason we pulled him. What's uh, Glasgow's health? I know he was banged up in the last match against Ryder. Yeah, he got a little work done right after the Ryder match, and he's healthy. He's cleared to wrestle. So uh, he's working through it right now. He's practicing really, really hard. So uh, hopefully he's ready to go someday. When you guys first joined the Big Ten and you started to see some of these road environments, what was your initial thinking You know, when you walked into some of these places? It's going to be hard every single night. It's going to be really, really hard every single night. And you have to bring your a game every single night or they'll run you right out of the gym and that's uh, we're in the league we understood it we understood it five years ago or four years ago I don't know how long it's been but uh, we, we understand it we understand the, what these programs are all about uh, so that that was the first thing that we have to get better real quick I thought I think we've competed really really well over the last four or five years but it's about time we start winning some of these matches and that's kind of our focus right now specifically specifically with Minnesota obviously that's a that's a program that has a, a a lot of support. Where did you think walking in there for the first time two years ago? Uh, just what you said, yeah. the support. The yeah. support they get uh, is incredible. They love wrestling out in the state of Minnesota. Those kids grow up wanting to be Gophers. Uh, it's a huge, obviously, a huge university in that state. Um, and that's it's hard to get out of that state if you're from there. So I just see their administration support. I see how they treat their former athletes uh, that are all now coaches, that whole staff, their former Gophers. They just love wrestling in that state. Speaking of some of those gophers, like Gable Stevens in there, anyway, how's a guy like Christian Colucci prepare for him on, on this weekend? Just, just, it, it, I don't think it's more of what what Gable Stevenson does. It's more of what Christian Colucci has to do and and make it a fight, keep it a fight, and fight, wrestle hard, and compete, compete. You know, it's a challenge. That's what are we in it for? If you're not into the challenge, and that's that's the way you got to go at it. When you have these guys that are ranked one, two, three, four in the country, it's the same thing. Probably opponents say when they're facing Syrian on Ashton. What, what's the game plan? It's got to be a fight, and that's. You know, we want to compete, and that's the same way on our side. He's got to compete, and that's kind of what we're looking to see out of him. How much do you need bonus from those two guys? I know they have, both have tough bouts, but kind of yeah, I'm not. We, you know, it's not something we talk about. You know, it's uh, just wrestle your match, and it'll come if it's there. Or just keep scoring points, keep scoring points. But I'm never going to put that on. Go get bonus. We just wrestle your match, and it'll turn into. If you wrestle for seven minutes, don't protect leads. <laughs> Usually, for at least for those two, it turns into bonus. So. Uh, that's kind of the way, that's the approach. Just go out there and score points and don't take the foot off the pedal. What'd you make out of John Van Bro's performance uh, at Midlands this past weekend? Up and down, you know, he, won, he wrestled he wrestled better. He, he won some, some good matches and then, you know, had a couple lapses there and, and then lost some close ones. So uh, consistency is a big thing with Johnny. He's got to continue to be consistent. It's all about preparation, though. If you're not preparing at a high level, it's really, really hard. So... Uh, you know, again, he went and wrestled, which was good. He needed to get more matches, so good for him for doing that. And uh, he wrestled unattached, so it wasn't a date. So uh, it's good. You like this for your, your kind of middle to upper weights? And we always talk about those guys, and that's where this match will probably be decided. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of toss up bouts. There's no doubt about it, with with implications in the Big Ten seating and the national rankings and all that stuff that prepare you for March and. There's a lot at stake here, and there's a lot of opportunities up and down the lineup for both teams. So that's what this is all about. You know, I, I wouldn't want it any other way. Me personal, personally, I, I love these big matchups with, with great individual bouts involved. Uh, again, that's what it's all about. You have uh, four ranked opponents coming up on the schedule. Uh, do you prepare differently now now it's the Big Ten schedule than you have some of these bigger ranked teams coming in? Uh, you know what? You don't try to get your, let your highs get too highs, your lows get too lows. You know, it's part of the stretch. We, we, we saw it from the beginning, from the summer. It's a stretch in our season. January is a very, very difficult month. And, again, like I said earlier, we got to be ready for every single night. And, it's uh, yeah, it'll be tough. These next four or five bouts are extremely important bouts, not just from a team standpoint but an individual standpoint. So, we know as a program what we have cut out for us and how we handle it. We've been through it before, and 
uh, we're just just looking to wrestle hard and, and, and win some big matches. What are the difficulties, if any, of having so much time between dual meets like you guys are? Yeah, you know, I always worry about that. Sometimes I think the more you're wrestling, the better off you are, right? But it's also good to have a couple of weeks. This is a little bit longer of a stretch. Uh, so that, that makes it, you know, you worry about guys getting too heavy normally. We don't have that problem. Yeah. So we don't have really anybody cutting a whole heck of a lot of weight. So we're pretty much around our weight all year round, and that's good. That's a good thing. Um, but that, that would be one thing I'd worry about, somebody ballooning up, wrestling great for two weeks because they're 15 pounds over, and then having to suck down a weight, make weight. It's almost like making weight for the first time. But we don't have that problem because we don't have guys in that situation. So I felt really good about our training cycle. I thought we did a great job over the holidays of getting better. And uh, for the most part, we're, he we're healthy other than really our 74-pounders are nicked. So that's it. Thanks, Scott. All right, man.